Welcome to Center Stage Music Center Online. My name is Ryan Keyes, and today I will be teaching you three one-octave scales for Nisma Level 1 and 2. These scales can be tricky, but we'll go through them step by step so that you'll have them mastered by the end of the video. The first scale we will be looking at is the one octave C major scale. Now let's break it down step by step. This scale will be in first position for the entirety of the scale, which also means that whatever finger number I'm using will be the same fret that I'm playing. So this scale will start on the third fret on the A string and I'll be using my third finger. After the C, we're going to be crossing strings to the D string and playing open D, 2nd fret, 2nd finger E, 3rd fret, 3rd finger F, crossing strings again to G, open G, 2nd finger, 2nd fret A, crossing strings one last time to B, which is open B, and 1st fret on the B string, C. After that, we will go immediately back to the B string and play the scale in reverse, open B, followed by crossing strings to 2nd fret A, open G, crossing strings one more time to the D string to play 3rd fret, 3rd finger F, 2nd finger, 2nd fret E, open D, and finally 3rd fret, 3rd finger A, which is of course C. I encourage you to try playing along with me now, and we will take it at half tempo. We will now be moving on to the next scale. The next scale we'll be looking at is the one octave G major scale. So a couple things to note right off the bat, in contrast to the C major scale, we're now going to be in second position instead of first. So now my first finger is on the second fret, my second finger to the third fret, third finger to the fourth fret, and fourth finger to the fifth fret. The other thing to note is instead of F natural, this time we're going to be playing F sharp. Here is the G major one octave scale. Okay, let's break it down. So, for the G major scale, we're going to be starting on the low E string with our second finger on the third fret, followed by crossing strings to open A, first finger on the second fret B, second finger on the third fret C, crossing strings again to open D, first finger, second fret E, and careful, here's our F sharp, third finger on the fourth fret on the D string, and open G. So that concludes our ascending version of the scale. To go backwards, we're going to go right back to that F sharp on the third finger, fourth fret D, followed by first finger, second fret E, open D, crossing strings again to second finger, third fret C, first finger, second fret B, followed by open A, and finally, second finger on the third fret on the low E, which is our G. Let's play it together slowly to see if you can match up. Okay, that concludes our G major one octave scale. We'll now be moving on to the next scale. The final scale we'll be looking at today is the one octave D major scale. Just like G major, this scale will also be in second position. But unlike G, this scale will be using a second sharp, C sharp. So we now have F sharp as well as C sharp. Here's the one octave D major scale. Let's break it down. So, we're going to be starting now on the open D string as our first note, followed by first finger, second fret E, then here's our F sharp, third finger, fourth fret. Now we're going to be crossing strings onto the open G, followed by first finger, second fret, which will give us A, followed by open B, we're now crossing strings, and here's our C sharp, first finger, second fret on the B string, and our octave D, which is here on the third fret on the B string. After that D, we're going to be going backwards, Immediately down to C sharp again, which is our second fret, first finger, open B. We're now crossing strings to the G string to play first finger, second fret, which is A, followed by open G, crossing strings again to our F sharp, which is third finger on the fourth fret, followed by first finger, second fret E, and finally open D. I encourage you to walk through the scale with me slowly to see if you can play it at half tempo.
That concludes our level one and two NISBA one octave scales. That's it for today's video. We'd love to hear from you, so be sure to leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out more Center Stage Music Center online videos.